So it's Sandy here and you're just getting a, an idea of the vista here. I'm in Champagne in France and you know it's just amazing when you drive down the road here you see the ends of the rows of the vines and all along at the ends of the rows are roses and here I am at Chigny les Roses which is in the heart of Champagne and actually this village was renamed Chigny les Roses by Louise Pomeray and originally this village was called Chigny les Montagnes but she loved roses so much that she persuaded the, the local officials to, to rename the whole village to be Chigny les Roses so we've just driven through the through um, through the village, and I'm staying here with uh, with Yvonne Yvonne Halling, who has had a a, a beautiful B&B in Champagne now for quite some years, and uh, so this is a marvellous experience. Of um, as you can tell, the the people working on the vines are very busy and very active today because there's been rain and so they're, they're checking for mold and, and other disturbances on the vines. But it's just extraordinary, this weave of the roses and the champagne. And what's been so fascinating is in talking with Yvonne about um, champagne and the, and the origins is that there are so many strong women that, that actually um, headed up the champagne industry. So uh, Le, Le Verbe Clicquot was named after the widow Clicquot and she was Nicole Barbe Clicquot Ponsardin and, uh, and the, 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 the family name and the family lineage came down to her and she said yes I'm going to do this, I'm going to actually head this up. And actually if you see pictures of her she's quite a fierce lady. She's um, yeah, there's, there's definitely a strength and an attitude of fortitude in this woman. So this area, although, you know, is, is seemingly in very, very, it's very French territory, yeah, you know, very traditional French territory, it was the women that had the finesse, that could, could have the nose and the finesse for the fineness of champagne. So, so connected to the earth. The, the nature of the terra here, the soil, the, the working with the seasons, working with the elements of nature. And these women stood forward in uh, being able to create masterful champagne that you know, has graced our tables. And you know, champagne is a, is a drink of celebration. We don't drown our sorrows in a glass of champagne. It's a woohoo, you know, <laughs> life is good. So this is, this is just such a fascinating place to be because the energy is held here. The energy of the joy and the celebration of life and of nature and the roses and the grapes. So I'm just very fortunate to be here amongst the, the champagne growers at Shinny. Lay Ross. <laughs> Bye for now.